floaters are going up and down with the hydro cylinders, they're taking oil from this tank and they're pushing it into the accumulators. The accumulators are partly filled with oil, partly filled with nitrogen. This mixture of the two is creating pressure. That pressure is very, very strong and can range between 50 bar in low waves to 160 bar in higher waves. That pressure is used to turn the hydro motor and these hydro motors are turning the generator. And most importantly, this is the system that is responsible for transmitting reliable, clean electricity into the electrical grid of Gibraltar. We attach to existing structures, as you can see here, and it's really easy to maintain. We don't need any divers, we don't need any boats, uh, we don't actually, even, even though we're a wave energy company, we don't even need to touch the water. So when the waves are too high for the system to handle, the floaters automatically either go up above the water level or in some of our systems in the world, submerge under the water level and then it protects them until the storm passes. We need to move away from fossil fuels and the world is not going to move away for, from fossil fuels until we figure out that we can actually make it less expensive than fossil fuels, that it's easier, easier to maintain and that we can actually make money and create jobs. The first wave energy plant, the first renewable wave energy plant connected to the electricity grid anywhere in Europe spring into action. Gibraltar is pioneering here. It is the first European territory, the first jurisdiction, the first nation in Europe to have wave power harnessed and connected to its electricity grid. This is a wonderful day for Gibraltar. We are leading the world in this type of technology. We are investing in this type of technology because we feel we have a responsibility for the future of the planet. Uh, this power station is of 100 kilowatt. It would be expanded up to 5 megawatt, which is 15% of the consumption of the electricity all over Gibraltar. Well, I'll, I'll borrow a quote from Neil Armstrong. Uh, one small step for Gibraltar and renewable energy and one giant leap for mankind.